Riggs. Ah, 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 ah. You know, that shit usually scare Whitey to death. Why? So today we are going to check out a comedian called Richard hey, Pryor. Man. I've definitely heard of Richard Pryor. It's one of those names that's like up there as a comedian, but I've not actually seen his stand up before. The only thing I think I've seen of Richard Pryor is a Christmas movie. I think it might be an 80s or 90s Christmas movie that was shown every year on TV. Was he a prince or an elf in it or something? I'm going to give you five seconds to figure out what film and actor she's getting mixed up with. It's Dudley Moore in the Santa Claus, you know, because they look so much alike. Anyway, today I'm going to check out his stand-up comedy, although a lot of people in comments were like, be careful, Diane. Oh, you don't know what's coming. Ooh. So I'm very excited to check out what you guys are talking about today. Before I get into the video, do be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, an unfortunate thing will befall you. You'll be reaching for the last slice of pizza in a group setting, and somebody's going to take it, and that would suck. So like, share, comment, subscribe to avoid such a fate. Also, do check out membership and or Patreon if you are interested where there's lots of behind the scenes things. Okay, Richard Pryor mafia joke seems to be his most viewed joke and I often think that the most viewed thing is going to be the thing people know him best for, so that's what we're gonna watch. I worked at a mafia nightclub. I see. Uh, in Youngstown, Ohio. I was 19. I was 19 years old, right? And I didn't know shit about the mafia. Uh, my father was the baddest motherfucker I'd ever seen. So the mafia didn't mean shit to me. I did not relate to the mafia. <laughs> and I worked with this lady, Satin Doll. She was the star of the show. Beautiful black stripper, right? Because usually in those days, they had like, in, in clubs, they had a, a singer and a stripper and MC. I was the MC. And she was the first black star I ever met. Satin Doll. Yeah. Sorry, is that in every, was that in every club back in the day? Did every nightclub have a stripper, a singer, and an MC? In every club? I was, because Duke Ellington had written a tune about her. You know, that's what she used to dance to and act. She was beautiful. She was 60 then. <laughs> oh, this bitch was fine, though, man. I'm not lying. Lena Horne didn't have shit on her. And she was crying backstage, you know, and then I, I got to get to Buffalo, they won't pay me. I said, who won't pay you? Club owners won't. They said, oh, them motherfuckers gonna pay me. <laughs> bet, bet. And I, now this is how ignorant I was. I had a cap pistol. No you know them blank starter pistols? I busted into the office with this motherfucker in my, all right, give me the money, motherfucker. <laughs> Doing my best black shit, you know. You know, that shit usually scare Whitey to death. Why is he? That's funny. And these motherfuckers didn't do nothing. And I'm sure that those men are sitting in that room today laughing. Because that's what this dude, he just started laughing. Oh. This fucking kid. Ah. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, Tony, come here. Wait a minute, Rich, do the gun again. Hey, Tony, come here. Stick up. Ah! Is the gun he's talking about, like, not a good gun? It's a, he said it's a starter pistol. Is that like a thing where you start the race? Sorry, I have, to, I have to check these things out. What does that mean? What kind of, is it like how you start a race? Like, is that the kind of gun he had? Because I think you could still injure somebody with that, right? I don't know anything about guns. This fucking kid, come here, come here, you fucking kid. He's got a pack of gooseys on him, huh? Fucking kid, come here, goddamn. They like to hug you and rub you. Come here, fucking kid. And grab your face, you got them. No, no, sitting there, huh? This fucking kid got some gooseys. Hey, my move. And they always say shit you don't understand. You know, like, hey, you want a little cuisine, but only? Hey, Pilo, fix him a little bit on the side of that. Put some struzzi on, huh? Fry it up, they like fried foods. <laughs> oh, okay. Is he touching his cross? Fucking get, huh? He come in here. He come in, he had a gun, he fucking get, huh? New Japan in my gun, huh? Pay everybody off, pay them off. It's all right, it's gonna have time. 
They paid everybody off, let everybody go, and kept me. <laughs> like a pet. <laughs> I fucking like this. You're this fucking animal. Don't you do it. You got family? Well, you got family now. I'm an old Who is it? Call mine. Tell him I call him back. Tell him it's a stick up. Ah! <laughs> It must have been a bad guy. And these motherfuckers start telling murder stories. Hey, you remember when Guzzi, hey, you remember when I made my fucking bones? Ah, me, I had to go away. It was Cleveland, right? His fucking Teamster. Great. Big mouth hurt a lot of people, right? You know, ice picks my thing, Rich. So we fucking had to drive down, me, Johnny Salami, <laughs> the Gabuzo brothers. They're on the funeral parlor. You carry, we bury. <laughs> He's brilliant at acting, like just acting. I, I can't remember the movies that I saw, but just from this alone, I can tell. He's very good at characterization, honestly. So we take this jerk off our bone, you know, drive him around, get him a few drinks. Say, hey, let's get some bras, right? A little motel we had wow. set up. Remember the Johnny? So we take him around, he gets kind of stoned. Drops his glass, I say, now, nah. I pop him with the fucking ice pick, right? <laughs> I'm popping this cocksucker blood, squirting every which way. <laughs> I'm stabbing, he's, oh God, don't kill me. Oh, fuck you, you guinea cocksucker. And the fucking ice pick breaks. Ah! I'm standing there with a fucking piece of wood in my hand. I said, Johnny Salami, what do I do? Johnny says, wait till it melts, asshole. Ah, 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 ah. Those were the good old days. Ah, what's the matter, Rich? You don't look so good. Hey, it's Pilo. Give me a little Sinini for all. You got a way home? You want us to give you a ride? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, my God. Well, as an intro to Richard Pryor, I didn't think that was too sketchy. I mean, I, I wasn't like, it, it was, I was, I didn't think it was that dark. I mean, like, yeah, it was about murder and everything, but, like, not really, like, in a jokey way. Murder? Why was everybody warning me about this? I'm confused. Is there another joke that I need to check out? I definitely will check out more Richard Pryor stuff if you want me to, but, um, you're gonna have to give me a little more guidance, like, what specific joke do you want me to look at? That's it for today. See you guys on the other side. Bye. <laughs> this seems to be his most few jokes, and I... This seems to be his most... Okay, Richard Pryor, Ooh, I can't talk today. Why was everybody telling me to be careful watching Richard Pryor? I'm not, I'm confused. One of my eyes is twitching. That's gotta be not a good sign. I'm, I'm a, I'm a dozen. Was it a body swap movie where the two actors body swapped? I think it might've been one with Gene Wilder. Maybe there was two movies I know him from. Baby. Baby, baby, baby. Yay. Yay.